not gonna tell you her age, <laughs> but she is looking so young. It's effort, it's work, it's uh, it's uh -huh. challenging. You know, my family, my friends, everyone mm -hmm. has supported me tremendously through this time, and I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of them. I Lucila Parilla, real estate agent with iPro Realty. I am here with Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Hello. Hello. Reposo. Yes. Is it like that I say it right? Reposo. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. <laughs> you know, in Spanish we have that last name as well. It's a kind of common, but uh, in translated to English it's a little bit uh, a little later. Yeah. So, thank you everyone for being here today, watching a new interview series with this beautiful lady here <laughs> that you. you will get to know more today in her studio, a Pilates, did I say that? Mm -hmm. Pilates studio. And actually it's been like a great connection since the first moment I met her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Indeed, we have been having a lot of fun in the last um, few minutes talking about everything that she does and how she started. But I let her do it. I let her tell you how did you come up with this idea of starting a Pilates studio? Uh, well, I've been in the fitness industry for just over 20 years. I started uh, as a personal trainer. I've done uh, managing, training. I was in rehabilitation. So I've done a lot in the industry, uh, mm -hmm. and then I had an opportunity to learn Pilates and get certified. The, my mentor is just incredible. Her name is Joanne, and she is amazing. Uh, and I started doing Pilates, and I just fell in love. I fell in love with mm -hmm. how it made my body feel. Um, I just felt like I had so much more and flexibility. Look. <laughs> <laughs> and look. Thank you. I had so much more flexibility and uh -huh. energy, and uh, it, it helped me with my posture. Uh, and I came from a background where I did a lot of weight training, so you know, I my body was tight, and so Pilates really helps to lengthen the body. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like in the last seven or eight years, I've really done a transformation by doing Pilates more frequently. Um, wow. And as well teaching it, of course I have to maybe demonstrate, so of course my body is consistently doing the different movements mm -hmm. and definitely getting stronger. So I, I am a fan of Pilates, I have to tell you. I, I was telling her that uh, I, I usually practice Pilates every day on my own, and now that I found her, it's like, really? That is, this is so beautiful <laughs> to see a uh, body that has been trained with Pilates like yours, it's giving me a lot of hope. <laughs> yes, and she what gets a complimentary it? session so she can try it with the reformer here at Vitalize Pilates. <laughs> That's amazing, thank you. But tell me, what's the difference between uh, Pilates and any other type of exercise? Uh, so, uh, you know, Pilates has a series of exercises um, and through exercises and systems and different apparatus, everything is put in place to ensure that the body moves in all planes. It helps to increase your range of motion, flexibility, core strength, postural muscles, uh, and just overall well-being and vitality, which is how I got the name Vitalize Pilates. Uh, and just that overall vitality through which you're getting everything from blood circulation, breath work, which is so important and so crucial in, in Pilates training is how to breathe properly. Unfortunately, we don't all breathe properly, especially if we're sitting at desks all day, it tends to become very shallow. So I start my practices with at least five minutes of just breathing, just the oh. focus on breathing. Yeah, that's something that I have noticed in, in uh, exercise uh, the Pilates that I do. I follow um, in my instructions on YouTube mm -hmm. by myself. Mm -hmm. um, the, the breathing uh, has a, a, makes a difference Absolutely. in the ability to do the exercise. Mm -hmm. But how, how do you teach that? How can you, like, it's not easy to teach I mean, I, I try to ensure that um, you at least focus on 
a five count as you inhale and a five count as you okay. exhale. Um, you know, expiring all that air is really important when you do that. You do find that deeper engagement into your core muscles. Mm -hmm. So I do cue that type of, of breathing. For some, sometimes I cue the rib cage breathing. It all depends on the client. Okay. Um, but I do try to get you to just breathe in through the nose, exhale through the nose, and really feel those five counts in, five counts out. Okay. Once you do that, the breath becomes a little bit more controlled, a little more calm, mm -hmm. and then you can work your certain exercises. Some exercises, we have breath with the movement. Okay. Other exercises will say, just breathe normal. Just uh -huh. not hold your breath, just breathe normal as uh -huh. you're flowing through whichever movement you're doing at the, at the time. Oh, okay. And one other curiosity that I had is, um, how is that, I find Pilates very close, like in some exercises, very close to yoga. Mm -hmm. is, is, does it come from yoga? Or, uh, what, I mean, I think, that, I think that yoga yeah. and Pilates, uh, you know, it's, they're both about just utilizing the body to its fullest and with breath. Uh -huh. uh, you know, it's just different flows, uh, different systems. Okay. Usually in, in yoga, mm -hmm. uh, not that I'm a yoga instructor, mm -hmm. but I have taken some yoga classes and I do find um, that a lot of the energy comes from the ground up and out through the crown of your head. Oh, yeah. And that's sort of the, the feeling you want to have while you're performing certain yoga mm -hmm. movements. In Pilates, we cue your core before your limbs. Oh, so we try to ensure okay. that your core, your pelvis, and your shoulders are stable. Then we move the arms, then we move the legs, and we create movement that way. But we target here first, and as an instructor, I'm consistently cueing your core, no matter what your arms, your legs, your whatever it is that you're doing, I'm constantly reminding you to engage here okay. somehow. Yeah. You mentioned that you have like private lessons yes send me yes. about it then. so um, I do train privately one-to-one -one, uh, and they are 55 minute sessions I also have 30 minute sessions as well just for some people yeah. who can just get in and out for a quick uh -huh. lunch uh, lunch break what are this, the times that you offer? the times are the basically the times are between myself and the client so okay. uh, in terms of our availability. Mm -hmm. uh, I do also do two to one. So two, uh, I do train a mother and a daughter. Nice. Uh, and I also have classes that are five to one. I like a smaller class. That way everybody gets some type of individualized mm -hmm. um, cueing from me. And uh, But at this time, I don't have classes running in the summer. Mm -hmm. I'll mention this now. Yes. I don't have classes running over the summer, but I will for the fall. Uh, so stay tuned and I will be sending out communication maybe around the last uh, two weeks of August to start booking in for classes. So that the, the time that you start again will be in September. If somebody wants to get um, some classes now, is, is, it, is it okay as well for the moment? They can do one-on-one -on -one as well? They can do one-to-one, -one. Okay. yeah. Uh, I, even, uh, I would even be open to some trios. So if mm -hmm. there are three, let's say three friends that want to get mm -hmm. together, uh, we can always do a small group class. Just, okay. uh, But again, it would just be our availability. I wouldn't necessarily mm -hmm. have that okay. posted on my mind. So you site. have some flexibility with it. Absolutely. If somebody wants to practice uh, in the morning, early in the morning, will you? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, at this point, uh, I know we haven't spoken, but yes. I, I do have a an additional service uh, mm -hmm. that I started because of the pandemic uh -huh. and my studio was shut down about four times uh -huh. in less than two years. Um, but uh, one of my dear clients kept pushing me to mm -hmm. do virtual training. Oh, okay. And uh, for myself, you know, being in this industry for over 20 years, I just never ever thought so I would train things. someone yeah. virtually. Uh -huh. I'm so hands-on uh -huh. and I'm all about safety and queuing and everything and I didn't think that I could do it and she kept pushing me um, to try it out so I, I tried it with her on a FaceTime call mm -hmm. it was a 30 minute session she loved it uh -huh. so I I started virtual Pilates and next thing I know I was seeing 8 to 12 clients a day oh wow and, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was great <laughs> my studio was closed but I did not stop I did not stop Pilates I Pilates was, kept rolling through yeah, I was wondering how did you survive through COVID but now I see that's how so uh -huh. I still I still do virtual 
sessions. Uh, they sure. are 30 minute sessions mm. uh, through Zoom or through uh -huh. um, FaceTime, uh -huh. but it's private. It is one to one. Nice. And uh, so that's kind of my early morning clients are actually uh -huh. virtual clients. Oh wow! Uh, and I know it was it was just kind of how the schedule yeah. went. So early uh -huh. morning clients, I kind uh -huh. of do virtually, um, and then I'm here at the studio, say mid morning, afternoon, uh -huh. into the evening, okay. and then there are random um, like virtual sessions that I do in between there. Mm -hmm. But as a as a as a trainer, as an instructor, I mean we're here for you. So if you have to train at seven thirty in the morning uh -huh. because you need to get your workout in before you go to work. I make myself available okay. if you are someone that works until 6 p.m. Um, you know, we can do virtual at home, which would be a quick, you know, mm -hmm. at 6 30, we can get done, or you can come to the studio. I'm here for my clients. I can see that. And yeah. actually, the studio is very nicely located in Erin Mills and Hill W. Mm -hmm. It's a great location, very easy access. So, in the west of Mississauga, and you've been here for how long? Uh, I just, um, in April, it was three years. Uh-huh. Uh, so I'm this starting. This is the third year. This four, is, this is fourth, my fourth year. Yeah, the fourth year. I just completed uh -huh. three years. So unfortunately, wow. for two years of my business, it was closed. Yeah. Um, so it was. But uh, you're still here. That's what matters. I am still here. So it's, I am, uh, I wow. am so grateful. you're a survivor. <laughs> I am you so are. grateful uh, to uh -huh. all of my clients. I. My family, my friends, everyone mm -hmm. has supported me tremendously through this time. Mm -hmm. uh, even when I didn't think I could do it, they were all supporting yeah. me, pushing me, and um, mm -hmm. I, I just feel like I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of them. I can see what Pilates is doing to her. I am very, very motivated to keep doing my classes. Yes, <laughs> yes, Pilates for life. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I am mm -hmm. so amazed, surprising. I'm not gonna tell you her age, <laughs> but she is looking so young. I, this is the best example of what I can say, a person who does the right thing to your body, yes. and your hair, your heart, and your mental. Absolutely, uh -huh. absolutely, thank you. And this is probably a summary of what you have been making decisions through your life, probably, right? Oh yeah. It's not a, by chance that you get this beautiful. <laughs> It's, it's effort, it's work, it's uh, it's uh -huh. challenging, you know. Tell us, what's your secret? <laughs> uh, I mean, I, you know, I'm, we're all human. And, uh -huh. you know, some days you wake up and you're tired and you just want to go back to bed. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and then there, there are mornings where you get and you bounce out of bed. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, it's, I love that every day I am making some kind of a difference. No matter how small, mm -hmm. I'm making a difference in many people's lives. And mm -hmm. for me, it keeps me motivated to want to work out and eat well, and get some sunshine, take my vitamins, uh, you know, all of that. I, I want longevity and vitality for life. So that's your secret sauce. <laughs> yes. I hope you listen. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of sunshine. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much for taking this, great. This, this time uh, to sit down with me and be able to share with more people the benefits of doing the right thing, taking Pilates as a way of life, yes. right? And I really appreciate your time because the time never comes back. So when you devote your time to share with us, it's very important, truly. And I just want to say, if anybody wants to get in touch with you, what is the best way to, to do it? Uh, you can go on my website. Uh, from there, it, you can click onto Facebook or um, Instagram, or you can send me an email. There's also uh, my phone number on there if you want to send me a text or you can call. Uh, it's at www.vitalize, V-I-T-A-L-I-Z-E, Pilates, P-I-L-A-T-E-S, studio, at gmail, uh, sorry, dot com. Vitalize, <laughs> yes, vitalize Pilates Studio dot com. Vitalize Pilates Studio dot com. Yes, that's the website. And you are on social media on, on Instagram. Instagram. Yes, uh, vitalize Facebook. underscore Pilates mm -hmm. on Instagram. And uh, I thought I say my Gmail, uh -huh. my email address. <laughs> but you can get all that information off yes. of the website. 
She is very reachable. She is so friendly and helpful. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate you. This was wonderful. I really yeah. appreciate the opportunity to even just be out there for people to, to yes. know about Vitalized Pilates. So thank you yes. so much. Thank you. And thank you everyone for watching today. If you are looking for any services or products, please, please first shop and look for locals. We have so many great people in this neighborhood, in this area, in this saga. So if you have any business or services or products that you'd like to have featured with us, just reach out to me today. Remember to shop local. See you next time. Lucila Padilla, real estate agent with iProgram. Thank bye -bye. you. Bye-bye. <laughs>